In the 1970s, the Apollo missions brought over 380 kilograms of lunar rocks back to Earth. Thanks to them, we can now identify moon origin meteorites with absolute precision. But those government-held samples remain out of reach. Back then, transporting just one gram cost as much as two to three family homes. Fortunately, there's another way to hold the moon in your hands. When asteroids strike the lunar surface, fragments of the moon are ejected into space, and some eventually land on Earth. That's how lunar meteorites are born, and some of them are now part of our collection. Each specimen has its own story, yet all of them were once part of our faithful companion, the moon. Whether it's a small fragment or a rare classified piece like El Achene 024, you're holding a piece of the moon that has survived fire, space, and time. Lunar meteorites make up less than 1% of all known meteorites, making them among the rarest and most valuable collectibles and investments in the world.